Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maritime Skipper. Today we'll be talking about the steamship Atlantic, which is actually our first sink in this channel. The ship sunk after scraping itself in some rocks and off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, be sure to tell your friends, family, anyone that you know to subscribe to my YouTube channel as we're trying to get to 100. But still, thank you guys so much for letting me reach out to your subscribers. I am really proud of myself. I am proud of and grateful for all of you that have helped me get to this. Thank you. I also like to um, sorry. I also like to congratulate my um helper, aka my sister, on helping me with everything that has been done in this channel. If she wasn't here, um, this channel would have never existed. I hope you enjoy, and let's get on, shall we? SS Atlantic was a transatlantic ocean line of the White Stone operated between Liverpool and United Kingdom of New York and New York City, United States. During the ship's 19th voyage on 1 April 1873, she struck rocks and sank off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, Canada, killing at least 545 people. It remained a deadliest civil civilian maritime disaster on North Atlantic Ocean to the secure the SS LeBron on 2 July 1898 and the greatest disaster for the White Star Line prior to the loss of the Titanic April 1912. Also, if you didn't know, the SS La Baron was, um, a ship was, that was, um, that was around, sorry, the SS La Baron was a ship that was one of the reasons why Halifax explosion happened. The Halifax, the Halifax explosion happened when, um, two ships, I believe, collided each other. I do not know if, if, if you keep, if you fact, fact check that for me and... If it's wrong, just tell me in the comments. And, um, like, the city of the port city of Halifax was exploded. Like, all the windows, crack buildings, or, yeah. History. Atlantic was built by Holland and Wolf and Belfast in 1870. It's one of the four oceanic class liners. The other wrestlers were Adriatic, Oceanic, and Bell Baltic. So it was the second ship of the class. The four liners were built for the New York Calais Oceanic Steam Steam Navigation Company, commonly referred to as the White Star Line. Program proposal was a four cylinder compound consist kind of steam engines losing six hundred horsepower horsepower of four hundred and fifty kilowatts, which a single propeller, giving her a speed of fourteen knots to twenty six kilometers per hour, sixty miles per hour. The engines were made by George Forster. A company at the Republic Foundry, Liverpool. To, commun to communicate from the bridge engine room, she was filled with telegraph. Steering was by force of steam. Steering apparatus for the Great Easter. <coughs> Sorry, man. I think it's a lot. Following the generally propulsion, she was rigged as a four mass barrel with a length of 420 feet, 130 meters. Between perpendiculars from the thirty seven feet and the thirty three meter um of around the beam of forty one feet twelve meters. She was slim of aspect ratio of one to ten. Atlantic had depth of thirty two of thirty two feet, nine point eight meters, and was thirty three thousand seven hundred and seven tons register. She had three decks and five bulkheads extending from kills in the main deck. <clears throat> the forces of ships were all auxiliaries with the standard than any previous vessel. Two classes on of a combination were available. Cabin class was a made ship with a swimming measuring 80 feet 24 meters long and, and a full 40 feet 12 meters. The ship's beam. The staterooms were full of the saloon probably for both on three combination, so as double cabins. The laboratories were probably one in water and the bathrooms had water heater but a steam was required. Capital class passengers were free to come on deck. There was also provision for a thousand serious passengers. Single male males were housed full on the cabin area after cabin class was reserved for single females and married couples. Serious class passengers did not have access to the decks. She said for New York City on mainland voyage on 8 June 1871. 
for a town trip starting on 1 July 1871, she was advertised for all classes being unrivaled in safety, speed, and comfort. She carries soldiers and stewardess. She carries steward, soldiers and stewardess. Atlantic completed 18 crosses with no problem other than a minor incident in 1871 when she was hit by SS Alexandria. Disaster. On 20 March 1873, Atlantic departed 19 voyage from Liverpool with 952 pa people on board, of whom 134 were passengers and 14 stowaways. On the route because of heavy seas and strong headwinds showing their prog progress, the captain James Williams became concerned that they had run out of coal for the boilers before reaching New York. They, in fact, had more than enough remaining fuel. The ship's engineer had been purposely on the route. Purposefully, the reporting call results to increase the margin for error in favor of safety. Thus, convinced to herself, call and unable to hoist sails to back up because of the strong headwinds, the captain decided to divert to Halifax, Nova Scotia, to refill. Um, during the approach to Halifax on the evening of thirty first March, the captain and thought officer were on the bridge to midnight while. Atlantic made her way through a storm, proceeding at 12 knots, 22 kilometers an hour. For the entrance of Halifax Harbor, experiencing intermediate visibility and heavy seas, unbeknownst to the crew of all passengers, winds and currents have put Atlantic approximately 12 and a half miles, 2.1 kilometers off course to the west of the harbor. Because almost on the crew have been in Halifax before, they were unaware of the dangers of their approach, no one took soundings before they were unaware of of the danger of the other approach. Sorry, um, if no one took soundings, posted a mess, said, look how reduced speed. I woke the captain as they approached our familiar coast. They did not spot the same bridge or lighthouse, the largest landfall lighthouse, which warns marinas of the rocky shores to the west of the harbor entrance. As the night war on without any side of the lighthouse, the helmsman being the only crew member familiar with Halifax became concerned that something was wrong. And related his concerns to officers on duty, but was ultimately ignored. At 3.15 a.m. local time on 1 April 1873, Atlantic sucker underwater rock, Golden Rule Rock, off Mars Head, Megros Island, now Mars Head, Mars Island, Nova Scotia. All 10 life was followed by a crew, but while washed away a smash as a ship clicked who filled with water, possibly capsized. So I was the first to swim or climb ropes, first to a wave swept rock, and then to a barren shore. Residents of the tiny fishing village of all prospect and damage. They soon arrived to rescue and sell to the survivors, but at least 545 people died, leaving only 429 survivors. Just manifest indicated that the 952 of both, 156 were women and 189 were children, including two who had been born during the voyage. I will return to the except for one 12 year old boy, John Hindley. Ten crew members were lost, while 131 survived. This was a voice lost for the living while some life in North Atlantic until the look of Barbara Brown, 2 July 1898. The Canadian government quietly concluded with the statement the Congress of Captain Williams and the management of a ship during 12 or 14 hours preceding the disaster. Was so gravely at uh, range with, uh, with what out to have been the conduct of a man placed in his responsible position. <clears throat> Recovery of the dead. Recovery and burial of the large numbers of victims took weeks. That was the paper was for covering the many bodies trapped within the hall. According to one newspaper account, a body of one of the crew members was discovered to be that of a woman disguised as a man. She was about, she was about 12 or 24 years old. And has served as a commissary for three voyages. And our sex or gender was never known until the body was washed to saw and prepared for burial. She described as having been a great favor for our shipmates and one of the crew speaking of her remark. I didn't know Bill was a woman. She used to take his grog as rick as any of us. He's always begging or sitting in the back back home. He's a good fellow though, and I am sorry he was a woman. Legacy. Atlantic was the second liner commissioned by White Star and Armist Oceanic being first, but carried the notorious of being the first White Star steamer to sink. The company was previously lost to Cripple Taylor in Dublin Bay in 1854. 
All this white stuff, ships lost in the flames concluded in the Republic 1849, Republic 1909, Titanic 1912. Today, most of the ship lies heavy, heavily fragmented under 40 to 60 feet, dropped to 18 meters of water. All effects were covered from several salvage operations on the display of Maritime Museum of the Atlantic and how effects on the West Coast and also SS Atlantic Heritage Pack Interpretation Center on Terran Spain in the West Coast. A monument to those, a monument to the wreck donated by Sipper and Thomas Henry, who is May's father, is located at the mass grave near the Interpretation Center of Terran Spain, Angeline. And the Korean cemetery, why a small monument marks the second mass grave of this Catholic cemetery. The 1929 film Atlantic was originally named Titanic, made only 17 years of the sink of the death ship. After the lawsuits from White Star, the movie was released under the title Atlantic, although the film was unrelated to the early White Star in the so. P.G. Roll House Star in 1929 called A Girl on a Boat, with six chapters of the romance take place on the White Star Line on the Atlantic, crossing from New York to Southampton. As a real Atlantic disaster, I was recorded 48 years before the story, eight years before he was born, it is unlikely that he, ever, he knew about it. Well, that was the um, interesting and sadly sad story of SS Atlantic. Hope you all enjoyed and be so to subscribe and share my channel with your friends, family, anyone that you know, so that we can reach on the subscribers. Hope you have a great day, night, afternoon, and see you all next week. Goodbye.